Can you believe I got another YouTube video dropping tonight? Could you imagine that? I got another YouTube video coming forth tonight. Now, let me just say this. I, I, um, I do my hair, right? So here's what I do. Even though I know how to do my hair, I still watch barbers. Because whatever you're assigned to do, it's good for you to study others that's doing it so that you can receive expertise in doing it. You understand? So if you're a woman, right? You should take the time to study videos concerning your style. You see what I'm saying? God don't mind that actually it can become therapeutic to you. Not too much, too much, too much, but every now and again. Because that's what I do. If I ever watch like anything about face or anything is in the area of barbering. You see what I'm saying? Because whatever God wants you to do, you got to keep on seeing it so that you want to do it. You know, you can lose your desire for something that's a part of you. You can lose your desire. Desires is your most silent Judas. It's your most silent Judas. Desire. It will betray you in a moment. You can lose your desire for the word of God, for the Bible, to hear the Bible in a moment. Because they come and go. Desires stay because of your focus staying. Your desire is submitting to your focus, your concentration. Meditation solidifies a desire. So the more you meditate, the desire stays established. You don't want desires to be uprooted. That's why you should always keep on watching, hearing whatever God has made a goal in the spirit for you. Or whatever you have made a goal in the spirit for you. You should always keep watching it. If you dreaming about being an owner, how many people that you talk to in a day is an owner? Zero? Well, guess what? You're going to have to step back and wonder. If my company, if my concentration is nowhere on where I'm going. Saints. The man that stood At the gate beautiful, he had no men that he admired that was rich. He had no men that he admired that was whole. So, God willfully pits Peter in front of him. Because Peter is going into a place of wholeness and wealth that this man needs to see. So here's what happens. The man is now standing, but now he has a portrait of where to go 
in the direction of with his life now. The Peter direction. Where was Peter going before Peter healed him by the power of Jesus? To go pray. Show this man what he been needing. This man been needing to seek God's wisdom, pursue God in prayer. So Peter is an example. And watch this. Your example is also your mantle. Your example is also your mantle. Your example is also your mantle. Every man of God needs a man of God to admire. Every man of God needs a man of God to admire. You can't even just seek God. You have to see someone that has what seeking God brings. Say, well, listen, you understand what I'm saying? You can't even seek God. You need to see someone that has what seeking God brings. See, who was Esther looking at? To become a queen. It wasn't a woman. Because she didn't have a woman. But she had an Adam. Just like the first woman had an Adam. And her Adam. It was Mordecai. As she was looking at Mordecai. Mordecai got queens inside of him. Mordecai is a queen factory. Man, you never heard this before, man. Okay, I have, I had two queens that you see manifest out of me in the physical. I got two daughters, I got two queens that you see manifest out of me. Where they came from? They came from me. That was my divine sperm. Hair yeah, so nice you think it's a perm. Adam had the woman inside of him. He gave birth to her. So, so Adam was the first man to conceive. Saints, the human race didn't come from a woman. How many people were in the human race? The first Adam, the second Adam. So if we think about it in a prophetic sense, who is really black and white? Who? All these stuff came from the first Adam. Cain, sin, God said, I'll put a mark on you. Who is Cain operating out of? The first Adam. What does Cain do? Kill his brother. Where is Cain operating out of? The first Adam. So what did Jesus say? The thief come to what? Still kill. Isn't that the same thing that Cain did? But where did Cain come from? The first Adam. What's your race, Jesus? <laughs> What's your, <laughs> you see that? Huh? Did you just understand that? Born again. Not born of incorruptibles. Not born of corruptible. But incorruptible, the incorruptible seed of the word.
You have to see a portrait of what you're becoming in God. You have to see it. That's why your man of God is so important. Because the Lord going to let you see it. The Lord going to let you see the portrait of what you're becoming. The Lord going to let you see the portrait of who you are. God put me in your life so that you can see what it means to sow your way out. He put me in your life for you to understand what it means to have prosperity. I got two 15 phones. I'm about to have 15 cars. I probably got 15. <laughs> about to have 15 children. 15. Say 15, 15, 15, 15. Come on, all the praise dancers, just sit down because we know all y'all freaks. You dance real good. Right here, then you're dancing somewhere else. Just sit down, sit down, sit. Just sit down. Just go and sit down. Go and sit down, Cletus. Go and sit down. Go and sit down. Always going to wear the long dress. They try to go use, you know, got, got yellowness at the hem. And this, this, this is P. You got P on your hem, all right? I'm not going to play with you like. Saints, you better not never find yourself in no pub. Never mind, I'm not in love. I'm not going to play with you. I'm not going to play with you. You better not never find yourself taking no bird bath. You know what bird bath is? Moving along. Why people that won't fall asleep always sit on the front row? Why they always do that? You know, you know you're not all the way. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Blessed be God. Do my thing and I do my thing, fella. <laughs> I came to get a pop and I came to get a <laughs> Hey, hey, I had to go through life to understand what Joe Budden was talking about. That song, Joe Budden had a message in there. He was trying to say something. I'm not going to play with you. And let me just say this. If you ever find yourself taking a bird bath, let me. Okay, this your daddy talking. This your daddy talking. Cause I know some of you are some some of you all never been raised. Nobody ever taught you about perfume, cologne, all that different type of stuff. I was just in the store on my on my my dustiness mask. My dustiness mask. I was in there. I was in there. I follow protocol. Follow protocol. Put my mask on. I act dusty like everybody else. I, I follow the dustiness. I am a dustiness follower when it's time for a dustiness follower. I'm I'm in there, dustiness, bra on the face, all that. I took my, put the bra on my face, you know, you got it. Medicine, asthma, albuterol, put the bra on my face. So, I 
I was, I, you know, I'm, I'm, I got my bra, my mask on my face, disguised. The bro walk up to me. Listen, man, I ain't even about that gay stuff. You feel me? I'm not even about that gay stuff. But man, you, you, you popping, you popping, you popping. On gang, on gang, you popping. On gang, on folk lords. On forks and spoons, on, on knives, you popping. And, 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 and let me just tell you, young blood, you smell good. I on no gay stuff, on no gay stuff. I got baby mama. I'm not paying no child support, but I got baby mama. I got two baby mamas in the back. <laughs> I got one baby on the way. They call me NFL, young boy. That's what they call me, NFL. <laughs> they call me NFL, young boy. I got... Two, I got two baby mamas. Two, two in all is is one, two. That's what it is right there. He picked up three fingers. One, two. I got two of them. That's all. And then I got one more on the way. That's gonna make it three. Three right here. It's about three. And uh, I ain't about no gay stuff at all. But I just gotta tell you, you smell good. You smell good, man. That that's an on game. So walking through the store. And it's a part of prosperity, right? It's a part of prosperity. I go to the I'm leaving I, I, okay, I'm 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 in line, right? So I, I think I need help with something, something. But then the manager lady came she said, I just had to tell you, you smell real good. I just had to tell you, I had to stop doing what I was doing because everybody just smell all type of ways. <laughs> and I, I know what she was trying to tell me. She said, everybody was just going, they were just, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, I understand, whoosh, whoosh. I understand, I understand, thank you. Thank you. I understand what you say. Whoosh, whoosh. No sound effects. I understand what you're saying. Uh, I understand what you're saying. Prosperity angels, the wisdom angel. The minister of finances will teach you how to smell good. Taking baths and showers are therapeutic. You have to do this in your single place. Some of y'all, you, you know, you, you're single, but, but take care of yourself. And, and always be a magnet, you understand? Because you don't know who God going to have you meet in a day that's going to experience you. And you don't want nothing to turn them away. You understand? Now, let me just say this for, for, for. Now, this is your daddy talking. Say you, you're doing something, right? And like you're exerting energy. Um, stay and float with your body chemistry. You understand what I'm saying? Like, like for instance, I, I have been lost when I have met men that didn't take care of their hygiene. Like, and I wonder, like, and they could be working men. But, but see, his was crazy. Nobody ever trained them about hygiene nobody ever trained them like that so they're not really thinking about that and that's why a lot of women got high blood pressure <laughs> well, <laughs> Proverbs chapter Proverbs chapter 3 <laughs> Proverbs chapter 3, Proverbs chapter 3, verse 34. <laughs> Surely he scorneth the scorners. So, 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 
If there's any area of your life where you disrespect God and you actually laugh at the idea of him doing something, you're going to be deprived of that because he's going to scorn you back in that same area. He scorneth the scorners. So, so that's how he respond back to you. Like, like, I promise you this. People that laugh at healing, oh, that healing ain't real. There'll come a time when they, when they need healing. And they'll wish that the person that they laughed at could bring them healing. You see what I'm saying? He scorn after scorner, but he give grace. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. He give grace. Wow. Unto the lowly. Now, saints, what does it mean to be low? You're always leaning on God's energy, his mentality, his words, his instructions. You're always leaning on him. What does it mean to be lowly? Is that you have realized that you're not on this earth for no children, for, for, for nothing. You're on this earth because Jesus wants to accomplish something for you, from you, through you, in you. The Holy Spirit will quicken you to realize that your time on the earth is limited. Father, I receive wisdom to make the right decisions. Father, I receive your wisdom to make the right decisions. If it's not your decision, I don't want it. Holy Ghost, show me the decision that makes you happy. Holy Ghost, show me the decision that makes you smile. Look at Proverbs chapter 4, verse 13. It says, take fast hold of instructions. Take fast. Fast hold of instructions. It's powerful. <sighs> Take fast hold. I, now I'm looking at this. Fast hold is greater than stronghold. And watch this. It says take fast hold because you're going to have to hold it fast. Or else the thief going to steal it. Or make you compromise it, casualize it. Take fast hold of instruction. You got to take. So that's an aggression. You got to take possession. That means that you have to possess it. You have to get it into your presence. See, that's why tongues are so powerful. Because you get instructions into your presence. That's why praising God, listening to your man of God is so important. Because while I'm talking to you, God giving you instructions. My voice so powerful that as I talk to you, you're hearing God tell you something else in your life that you need to attend to. The Holy Spirit why I'm speaking to you. I'm saying one word, but there's a whole dictionary. There's definitions going out while I'm talking to you. See, some people can give you a word from God. 
And some people can give you a world from God. Preacher Bab did tell us. You all right, brother? Huh? You want some water? You want some juice? Because they got some strawberry lemonade at Wendy's. But $3 a buck. It costs a lot of money, according to the books. It costs a lot of money. But at the same time, it's good. You remember the song? Even the song prophesied, it's good, real good. It's working for me. They gave her too much to drink. <laughs> they gave her too much to drink. She thought that she was listening to Ronald Isley. <laughs> yeah, that dog said, this is my teeth for grace. <laughs> Say, hey, 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 no, put the cigarette right down. This gospel music, this gospel music, you ain't supposed to be saying. <laughs> Me and my season. <laughs> To reap what I have sown. <laughs> to reap what I have sown. You know we're about to reap what we sown. We done played some lottery tickets, didn't we? We played some lottery tickets. We're about to reap what we sown. <laughs> now. <sighs> While I talk to you, that's why you got to listen to every broadcast. And that's why you got to re-listen to every broadcast. Because while I'm talking to you, God is scheduling other conversations about other departments of your life. Your man, See, a man of God sent to you w was a dynamic idea from God because he knew that they had all of the streams of the Garden of Eden locked up in their teaching. Saints, Adam was so powerful that he was a man of God of animals. Oh, my gosh. Watch this here. You never heard this before. Adam had an anointing. Adam. Adam had an anointing. Adam had an animal anointing. And when he dealt with the birds, it was a bird call. So, so Adam was the first bird man because he was stunting like his daddy. <laughs> and then he went to the neck of the woods. Huh? Huh? You understand? So, so Adam had a lion anointing so he knew how to train the lion how to function as a lion. Remember, Adam wasn't just mentoring that woman. He was mentoring animals before that woman showed up. So the fish had to wait on Adam to, to release an anointing for that fish to float. Now you know why the whole earth is crying out for the manifestation of the sons. Because the earth was waiting for the sons to receive its fun for, for in order for it to receive its functionality from the sons. Wow. Saints, you got power to call money that you can't see right now. You got power to call in ligaments in your body that you can't see right now. This flowing from the supernatural. You got power to call in thoughts that you're not thinking right now. Um, I just heard the spirit of God say that there's a thought menu daily. There's a thought menu. And so every day you can pick which mental foods you going to eat. What you going to cook. What you going to digest. 
Because you got a thought menu. You got an emotional menu. Wow. You got an emotional menu. And once you set up in your mind, I'm going to be joyful today. I'm going to be at peace today. You got dominion to bring that to pass. And watch this. It's going to be stuff that's going to come to say, no, you don't. You're not going to eat from this man. You know, nah, now nah, that food cooking right now and I'm going to digest this food and I'm going to finish this food. I'm not going to let no dead flies. Because that's what dead flies come to pervert the food so that you don't want it no more. And then when your food get cold and you don't want it no more. Why? The food got cold because you wasn't touching it. The devil had you touching on your bad news and touching on your distractions and touching on your weaknesses and touching on what you did wrong and touching on who is wrong. And while you touching all that stuff, your food got cold. See, see, um, and this is why distractions are so dangerous because distractions make you not attend to the food that God put in front of you. And while you're not eating, the food is getting cold and the dead flies are all over on the food. And, and here's what dead flies. Dead flies have a ministry of making what God assigned you to do become wearisome. Dead flies have a ministry of causing what God wants you to learn become boring. Dead flies have a ministry of what God wants you to overcome. The strength he has given you seem like it's not pleasurable. No, I'd rather stay in the bondage because that's not no fun to be free out there. I want to. Bonafide this. You know why Samson's was over there with them women's because they smell good. That's what. <sighs> Samson, Samson went over by the freaks. He guys, Samson, hey, Delilah. Samson, I'm good. I'm over here. Pass me another chicken wing. <laughs> Samson was at the Philistine barbecue. God, God, God was like, this nigga right here, this nigga right here about to, this nigga don't know his eyes about to be out in six weeks. <laughs> Samson was just talking, nah, she pleased me well. I'm, I'm all right. <laughs> Fix me another plate. <laughs> you got some more collards? <laughs> You know it's real when people call it the correct way. You got some more collards? As you done spelled out the whole. You got some more collards? <laughs> Come on, Delilah. <sighs> Them other women was wearing long skirts and up there smelling all Muslimish. Boy, I can't do it, boy. It'd be hot as it is. It's just got the Ku Klux do on. They got the Ku Klux. They got Ku Klux hat on them and stuff like that. They got Ku Klux. It'd be hot outside. Got Ku Klux. 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 I had Ku Klux on the head. Ku Klux on the head. Be hot outside. Still got the Ku Klux hat. Ku Klux. I'll never forget in Georgia when I was at the light, I looked over and the lady, all I saw was some eyes just looking at me and she, I couldn't see nothing else. I was like, this is the first demon I saw driving a car. I was kind of shocked, hey, man. I, it, I, it was red, the light was red, but I was about to drive out. I'm like, I don't know, you about to shoot me, demon? Come on, because cause I, I might shoot you, the bullet might go through you as a ghost. I might shoot you back, the bullet might go through you as a ghost. One time I had experience, I, I was inside of a hotel room, and, and this true story it was, a, it was a Muslim couple had moved in before. And I heard, I heard, ha, oh, fuck up, oh, fuck up, oh, oh. I was like, wait, he just cussed. He said, oh, who, who is he trucking in there? I heard say, but I didn't know that was his language. Come to find out, 
<laughs> Come to find out, he was cussing her out. He was cussing her out. But he said, son, in the, in the, in the what they call it, the, the, the Islamics, economics, ebonics, ephonics. <laughs> and then I heard son, boom. Oh, snap. So watch this here. The hotel room, right? It sounded like a head had hit the wall. <laughs> so let me tell you how the hotel room was. You can look it at the corner like there's a window, but sometimes the window will let you see like at the beginning of the door. So he had the woman up against the door. <laughs> now they weren't doing that. He just jacked up against the door. And he went, oh, fuck a lot, my mother. All right, oh, fuck a lot, my uncle Ty. I was like, listen, this is, this is, he doing, he doing thug, thugism, thugism back. And, and, and so they had just moved into the door right there. It was another ho hotel room next. The saints, it's the crazy thing. The woman had opened up and guess what she said? She said she she revealed that the reason why she was getting beat up because he didn't want her to take a shower and she went go sneak take a shower. He didn't want her to take no shower. I'm like, wow, that's a This is a discrepancy. Moving along strong, all right. Discrepancy. This is a discrepancy. I'm going to tell you that right now. I'm going to tell you that right now. This is a discrepancy. This is a. Since I remember one time we, we had this, uh, we was riding in, in um, the, ta the taxi man I was riding with at the time, this was before like Uber was hot and all that stuff and all that stuff was hot. Ta taxi man I was riding with. So the taxi man, look, get into his car. We on our way somewhere. He said, I got pull over. I got pull over right now. I got pull over. I'm like, what? Like, you, you supposed to be taking me where you... I'm supposed to go. Like, what are you trying to rob me? Like, what, what, what's going on here? He said, he said, oh, I got to pull, I got to pull over, I got to pull over. Now look at this. This man pulled over into the lot. You know what he started doing? He, he bowed down to the floor. He says, pass my time. I got to bow down to the floor. The man doing rituals right there instead of driving the taxi. So, while, while he had his face down, I got out of the passenger seat. I got over in the driver's seat, started gearing up. Vroom, 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 vroom. It's all right. Now, I'll be back. I'll be back around quarter to five. I'll be, around, I'll be back around quarter to five. I got some stuff I got to do. Now, just stay down there. Stay down there. Spend time with Allah. He needs you right now. He needs you because I'm about to beat him down. He's going to need you, so keep his company. Solomon. God revealed to him the ancient, uh, uh, the ancient scrolls of money moving in the earth. Solomon was a sign and a wonder in the Bible to show you the explosiveness, the explosiveness of God to provide for you beyond limitation. Solomon is in the Bible to show you 
how your relationship with God is supposed to turn into a fellowship with God that explodes. Solomon had ancient sowing training operating on him and everybody in his kingdom understood this ancient sowing mantle. Everybody in Solomon's kingdom had stepped into the glory portal, the glory world of money. Everybody. Because wisdom, it, it, it is designed to bring you into the abundance. It's designed to bring you into the abundance. It's designed to bring you into the increase. It's a wisdom portal. It's a glory world where money is answering you all the time. Now, see, Solomon entered into here because he showed God that he was willing to receive money as a means to worship. So God made money worship Solomon. Solomon made money worship God. And God made money worship Solomon. Now, here's something mighty that you want to see about Solomon is that he didn't lean on David's inheritance. He unlocked his own. And so you got to understand the reason why God made Solomon so rich because he had the riches of his dad already, but he still walked through as if he was poor. He walked through the sowing lanes, the sowing roads, the sowing path as if he was poor. And he went through the process, the due process, the due season like everybody else. And God said, because you didn't ask me for none of this, I'm going to give you riches. I'm going to give you riches and wealth. And watch this. Solomon came teaching. He started talking about some deep stuff. I, I, I'll talk about it another time. In Ecclesiastes. You'll hear it. Remember what I just said in Ecclesiastes. He started talking about some deep stuff about wealth. He started revealing the mysteries of wealth. Of how God gives it to you. Of how the devil not the overseer over riches. The devil, not the one that's the author of plenty of money. He started revealing stuff secretly in the book of Proverbs, in the book of Ecclesiastes. It was the unfolding of the mysteries of God's storehouse. How this is a lifestyle that you unlock when you're giving into your man of God, when you're sowing into your leader. In the book of Proverbs, it says that he that waits for his master shall be honored. You know what that means? I'm your master. <laughs> your man of God is your master. You know what the word of God say? He that waits on his master shall be honored. You know what I mean? That God going to pitch you on the investment system. God going to become your biggest investor. And when he your biggest investor, he got access to everybody moving on the earth. He'll bring them. He'll bring them. Isaiah 60 talked about him bringing it. Isaiah 60 talked about him bringing them. From the north, the south, the east, the west. Money! Come it to me now. He talked about bringing them with your wealth. Is God doing it? This a real lifestyle. You was created to live by favor. The favor of God. God liking you. God enjoying you. Why? Because you doing what the kingdom talk about. God enjoying you because you living by the kingdom. See, so in his kingdom. Honoring God is kingdom. 
And when God see you living by his kingdom, his kingdom start living by you. His kingdom becomes your neighbor. Everywhere you go, the kingdom is right beside you. Your source, your supplies coming from the king of kings and his kingdom is manifesting his kingship in your life. What happened to Solomon? He broke open the wells of financial salvation. He broke open the wells of of money prosperity. He broke open the wells of wisdom. He broke open the wells of deliverance, the wells of knowledge, the wells of health, the wells of freedom, the wells of power and glory and dominion and kingdom. Kingdom wells. Money coming to me now. He was operating in every governmental benefit there was. And Satan had no power over him. What you think Joe was doing when he received double wealth? He was already extremely rich. He was already extremely wealthy. And God gave him double. What you think was happening to him? Joe was on top of the world. Before Job even got attacked, the devil knew that he was on top. <sighs> see, see, sometimes the devil know your man of God before you know who your man of God is. So sometimes the devil got to attack your man of God for you to understand who your man of God is. Because the devil already know who he... Ah, ah. I decree fresh financial angels to move in your life tonight in Jesus' name. I decree and I declare fresh minister of finances moving in your life tonight. I decree, I declare prosperity angels move in busloads. Prosperity angels move in bands. Legions of prosperity angels be summons to your situation tonight. Holy Spirit money be upon you. Prosperity. You know, I just talked to you about Carolina situation. Carolina just got that, um, got that, uh, that brand new truck. Huh? Wow, 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 wow. Mm, 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 mm. So many people in JHM getting testimonies right now. So many people in JHM getting testimonies right now. The seed is the introduction to realistic testimonies. Explosive testimonies. Do you know a testimony is the, is the exposing of a harvest? Did you just catch what I just said? A, a testimony is the exposing of a harvest. See, you can sow so much that your harvest got to be too much. God can't give you small because then it will be him cheating you and he not, he not going to do that. See, the father, he'll let you experience what it means to be on top, the head and not the tail. Now, saints, this is realistic. We see we not like the world. You don't become rich. You don't become blessed. You don't become uh, above and not beneath by trickery, by wickedness and by sin. You get there. By surrendering all of yourself to the Holy Spirit, saying yes to the Spirit of God ruling and controlling you, and learning how to submit to the authority of your prophet. Your prophet is the major avenue in where all your prosperity is traveling. All your prosperity is coming through your prophet. It ain't coming through prayer. It's coming through prophet.
See, God promotes the prophet to apostle because it's time for the people of God to go to a higher place in wealth, in grace, great grace. It's the people of God time that's connected to that prophet to experience higher levels of the spirit of wisdom and revelation. Which is an Apostle Paul anointing. It's an Apostle Paul crown. See, apostleship is the father scheduling wealth for those that are honoring the apostle. To engraft you into the same apostolic authority over money, over body parts, over situations, over demons in your region, over angels that are supposed to minister for you. Saints, God, the only time he will ever defeat you while you're on the righteous path is with sowing. That's the only time he'll defeat you. Because when you're on the righteous path, now he'll defeat you if you fight against him. But the only time he defeats you when you're not fighting against him. Watch that there. The only time he defeats you when you're not fighting against him is through sowing. Because sowers don't fight against God. Sowers can, can, can become God's footstool. Sowers let God walk on them. God can walk on you for however long he want, when he want, where he want, in front of whoever. Sowers ain't trying to protect their dignity. They find another realm out of dignity called dig. And they dig in into the wells of gold, the wells of freedom, the wells of prosperity and abundance. They took the th first three letters of dignity. They, they decided to dig. They, they decided to plow the ground. They decided to put their hands to the plow. The sowing hand can't stay empty because God does a supernatural surgery. Why are you sowing? Your hands become anointed for wealth. Your hands become anointed to possess new assignments. Holy Spirit tasks. You find with the man with the five talents, look how God promoted him to 10 more talents and then gave him one talent from the, the person that decided not to sow it. And that person only had one talent because what that person with the five talents was going higher and higher. They was receiving more abundance.